in a landmark order close the home of the Jammu and Kashmir High Court. And uh, the, the High Court of uh, Jammu and Kashmir in Ladakh has mandated the administration to protect unattended temples and shrines from encroachments and the land mafia in Jammu and Kashmir and in Ladakh, which means unattended Kashmiri Pandit temples will be protected by the state. This judgment is likely to protect and determine the fate of scores of such Hindu religious temples and properties in Kashmir that have remained uh, in disuse uh, since the exodus of the 90s or have been uh, <coughs> unfairly taken over or encroached upon. There is a further hearing stated for the, for the 18th of July, that is for later this month and thereafter. Furthermore, in some of the cases, but the, but the judgments in the, the cases so far, especially in the case of three temples, uh, points to the direction where the courts are saying that the state must intervene. The district magistrates have been empowered to take over, do a survey, take over and ensure there is no encroachment uh, of these unattended temples and shrines. Ananya Bhatnagar joins us with more details. Yes, Ananya. Definitely, uh, Anand, you know, it's a very significant order as far as Kashmiri Hindus are concerned because their lands had been, uh, you know, encroached upon and that's a very, very significant order that comes in from a division bench of uh, the Jammu and Kashmir High Court wherein the High Court uh, clearly points out that, you know, the temple uh, doesn't belong to a particular party. The temple belongs to the deity and uh, before adjudication of that particular issue, you know, these, temple, uh, these uh, two temples were in question in this particular order have to be protected is what in fact uh, the Jammu and Kashmir High Court says. The uh, direction has been given to the district magistrate there to actually you know appoint uh, uh, in fact the Pujari is also there and also protect those particular points of land and not only this you know this order can serve as a landmark judgment coming in at least as far as the Kashmiri uh, Pandits and the temples uh, at least in uh, the, the JNK area are concerned so very significant order coming in from the Jammu mm. and Kashmir High Court. Yes and uh, we are given to understand that the courts now uh, in uh, court order in one of the case, Justice Sanjeev Kumar has actually allowed a petition by the members of the Kashmiri Pandit community and directed the district magistrate of North Kashmir Gandharbal district to preserve, protect and maintain two Hindu religious shrines, namely the Ashtapan Devraj Bhairav situated in Nuner village of the district and the Vidushe shrine. Uh, which is uh, and and to take requisite steps under the JNK Migrant Immovable Property Preservation Protection and Restraint on Distress Sales Act 1997. So multiple petitions now being clubbed together. Ananya, a big significant step. Well, definitely, Anand, you know, it's a significant step because not only in these cases, but also when, you know, further claims would come out of, of other uh, land which are temple temple sites, that would all, this judgment would set as a precedent. This would be a precedent uh, from, from the Jammu and Kashmir High Court that would be acted upon. And very clearly, this is a big win, at least for the Kashmiri Hindus who had, you know, lost their lands, who had lost their lives in um, uh, since the 1990s. And now, uh, you know, some somewhere or the other, they're uh, yeah. getting back that particular justice first uh, when the Supreme Court had passed this historic judgment with regards to the Reconstitution Commission and um, now this Jammu and Kashmir High Court order is something that comes out as a little breather for those Kashmiri Hindus who had lost a lot during the 1990s and the 1991. Yes, we are given to understand uh, that uh, this could perhaps, perhaps uh, govern the fate of hundreds of pending cases and now the matter is listed to be decided to decide on the leftover cases on uh, the coming Thursday, that is the 18th of July. And uh, important to mention that properties which were occupied and approached directly influenced or uh, directly, directly or indirectly by certain members who are currently under uh, the spotlight of the state for their uh, malpractices, they will actually now uh, be taken up. Some of these properties have been forcefully taken over also and uh, one or two elements who are responsible for this, who are part of the Jammu and Kashmir High Court in the past, they will all now come under scrutiny. So, uh, big development this in Jammu and Kashmir, the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh will see unattended temples, religious institutions, shrines, uh, which will now be protected by the local administration. The state will have to intervene. That's the direction that's being taken given the judgments of uh, the 9th of July and also an updated order that's been passed with more cases, all cases being clubbed and they are going to be heard on the 18th of July. Ananya, thank you for your inputs. Let's get a move on, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, putting the nation first and taking a principled stand, many would ask why is it half-baked and why only one sport? But somewhere, this not going to play cricket with Pakistan, not playing a bilateral series with Pakistan in Pakistan, uh, has been a steadfast position taken by